Welcome back. It's time for Where to Eat in Oklahoma, bought, brought to you by Cisco. We're a great restaurant shop, and I'm joined by, of course, Cisco's chef Dale Tanner, along with Thomas Sewell's Ryan, chef Ryan Parrott, and Rob Crabtree, director of operations. And Thomas Sewell is Class and Curve's newest restaurant. So excited to hear all about it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank yeah you. absolutely. Rob, let's start with you. What is the general theme and overall flavor of Thomas Sewell? The general theme is that we're a modern Mexican kitchen and mezcal bar so we really um, took Mexico City as our inspiration with the high-end restaurants there some of the best in the world and also some of the best street food in the world and we found a happy medium here in Tom Azul. Oh that's great well we're gonna make two of the dishes today the first is queso a la plancha which basically is grilled cheese well not not in the sense <laughs> that you're thinking about it and like the sandwich but it's cheese that's grilled which is amazing so uh, where do we begin with this we'll start with uh, just some provolone cheese okay and that's um, thick Provolone yeah, cheese. Thick cut. That's not sandwich right, cheese. Right, right. Um, and then I've just got a little bit of uh, hot oil, so we'll okay. basically just start uh, grilling that. All right. And we're just going to grill it and kind of caramelize the outside of it and get it all melted. Um, this is kind of our answer to everyone serves queso. You know, Tex Mex restaurants all have queso, so this is kind of our answer. It's just cheese. I mean, it's in, a, in its purest form, it's got a lot of flavor, and you know. Yeah, it's different not, than not your watered down cheese sauce. So. Yeah, totally. It's actually good <laughs> yeah. cheese. And what kind of flavor does that grilled texture add? Uh, it actually kind of turns it a little bit sweet. Um, we'll, we're going to flame it with tequila. Um, <laughs> nice. So the tequila kind of caramelized. It actually gets almost kind of a sweet and smoky kind of flavor to the cheese. So queso, queso a la plancha con tequila. <laughs> exactly. You forgot the tequila it's part. It's high school, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Un poquito. So now we're going to flip that. Nice little brown side to it. Yep. Ooh. So is this going to go with a quesadilla, or what is this going to be we paired serve it, with? We serve it with fresh tortillas, um, a little bit of pickled onions, and some pickled jalapenos. So you take the fresh tortillas, cut the cheese up, just kind of build your own little... So you can put it inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. Put fresh salsa with it, whatever, build them up however you want. Awesome. You could probably eat it plain as well. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. I'm all for that. Okay. We're going to do some tequila. Do you want to pour the tequila? I would love to. Okay. I'm going to stand back, though. I'm going to move it off though. the flame first. <laughs> I can't believe you're trusting me Okay, here. it's not going to flame Just right go? here. It will when oh, I go okay. back. Go ahead. Just right. going to smoke a little bit. Whoa, there we go. That is nice. sick. Hey. So would you say that this is a Mexican tradition to have the grilled cheese? Yes, the queso al plancha. That's it is a Mexican traditional dish, and that's where we got the inspiration. Yeah, from it. yeah, and that's it. So that's Pretty it. easy. Yeah, works tequila. Great. <laughs> well, I got to dig know, they, right they've in. They've got a uh, Alex. They've got a beautiful location over there on Classen Curve. Uh, if you've not been by it, just uh, I was in there the other day. Took some pictures, and just a beautiful interior. Great feel for oh, it. Of course, they're right over there on uh, I guess what you would call the new restaurant row. Oh, I love that area <laughs> by Republic. Right. And, yes. Yeah, a lot of those just down the street mm -hmm. restaurants. Beautiful. Rob designed all the interior. Yes, we pulled a lot of the Mexican colors into this restaurant and really fits in with the theme. And you'll see that in our food and the inside. I'm guessing that you guys offer a few drinks too. Quite a few drinks, actually. Yeah, uh, we, do you have a large menu yes, for that? Yes, a large drink menu. We're actually the first mezcal bar in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Mezcal is like, a, uh, is like tequila. Tequila is actually a mezcal, it's just different uh, agave plants being used. Mm. So it's a, it's a strong spirit. But and we're really starting to get people into mezcal here in the Oklahoma City, and it's been great. Oh, cool. So margaritas, what, what have you, all of your normal stuff, but then we do some other specialty yeah. cocktails. You'll have to come in. Great. Well, this is amazing, the queso a la plancha. Don't go anywhere just yet. We are making pineapple baked Alaska when we come back with Thomas Sewell, Class and Curve's latest restaurant right after this. Mmm. Very good. Cisco presents Where to Eat in Oklahoma. On Oklahoma Live, good things come from Cisco.